All right, what is going on, people? And welcome back to the episode of Arc Survival Evolved Max Speed. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Therizinosaurus. Now, funny enough, I actually had not used a Therizinosaurus in Arc until about three months ago when my girlfriend and I were trying to get all the achievements possible in Arc. And um, we started up our own private server so that we could kind of just turn on insanely high rates. And she was like, Therizinosaurus are amazing. I uh, get a Rex. And she said, Therizinosaurus are amazing. And I came to groan and probably said something about direwolves. And so then we went out and tamed a Therizinosaurus, and it wasn't a good level or anything, it was only like level 50, but it was by far one of the most impressive tames that I've ever had in my entire life, period. It was just so good at harvesting absolutely everything. So what we're going to do here is we're going to spawn in four of them, and I'm going to take the one that I look, like the look of best, and then we're going to make it at max speed and put some imprinting on it and saddle it up. Now, Therizinosauruses can be kind of seen as a glass cannon. They have a ton of damage when compared to a lot of other creatures in Arc, but they don't have very much health for what they are and what they should be fighting alongside of. They were nerfed not too long ago, and then it kind of got a little hazy, but without a doubt, Therizinosaurus are probably... If you're on a server where you can only have, like, three tames, period, Therizinosaurus has got to be one of them, because it has so many things that it can harvest. I mean, it has its... Right click, left click, and a C attack, and it can harvest with 5 star efficiency, wood, chitin, rare flowers, keratin, hide, silk, cactus sap, rare mushrooms, and plant species Y seed, and fiber. And then it has a couple other things that are 3 and 4 star. Now, much like the uh, moss chops that we looked at last time, the Therizinosaurus benefits from having many levels, even if they're not put strictly into its melee damage. So, when you level up the Therizinosaurus, it also gets harvesting levels. And when you level up it in movement speed, you can still level up its harvesting levels with it so that you don't have to worry about not putting all your points into melee damage, and you can still have something that harvests well. It's really nice. You know, you can't exactly level up an Ankylosaurus in metal or a Dodicarus in stone, so you can't put anything except for melee damage and wait to compensate for the fact that you have to carry so much stuff. But for Therizinosaurus, you can put whatever points you want to in anything and still be able to specialize it in certain things. That You can put it, its levels into harvest, uh, or its harvest levels into delicate, which will give you better harvesting for berries, fiber, hide, chitin, and polymer, as well as flower silk. Eh. Uh, or you can put it into power, which will give you more thatch, wood, meat, uh, chitin, and hide as well, uh, but not not as not as good as delicate. Or cactus sap, or corpse silk, which I believe is the um, spider silk. Anyway, uh, the Therizinosaurus, we're going to go ahead and put some imprinting into it here, and oh boy, does this thing get really, really, really fast once you start to put some movement speed into it, and uh, I haven't seen anything that is just such a perfect all-around mount in Ark in such a damn long time. I mean, it's just absolutely insane. Once you get all 73 levels into it, I believe that Ark did increase the level cap just a little bit recently. It gets 1.2 or 1.4% movement speed per level, and this thing is really quick. So you can see here we have delicate and power, and um, putting levels into either of these things will obviously affect how much of um, how much of an impact you will have when harvesting certain different things that I had previously mentioned. But as you can see, it takes way too long, so we're not even going to bother doing it. But max movement speed there is Xenosaurus right here. So fast. I mean, this thing is just ridiculous. It's just insane how quick this thing actually goes once you put all of its movement speed, or levels into movement speed, as well as imprinting. And <sighs> I can almost make the case for this. It's really difficult. Uh, you know, it's just so tough to really say, like, go ahead and do this and don't feel bad about it because it's, it's going to be amazing. But solid baseline health. Amazing baseline melee damage. Not horrible carrying weight. The only thing that I can really say about the Therizinosaurus is its tame is painful. For things that you could kind of compare it to in combat sense, like a Rex, a Rex takes an hour and 45 minutes to tame on official with 33 Pullman of Scorpius Kibble. Pullman of Scorpius Kibble, easy to get. Therizinosaurus on official will take over three hours with Megalosaurus Kibble. That's that's the sleepy dinosaur, and those things are impossible to get. So as you can see here, at max movement speed with full imprinting, we can outwalk wild Therizinosauruses, which aren't very slow to begin with, even though they kind of look like they're lumbering beasts. But as soon as we turn on the jets here, we're absolutely gone, and we'll never see that thing again. So they can kind of be used as a drive-by tickle chicken in this sense, I suppose. So you just walk up to a dinosaur, right-click on it, and it'll do a little tickle on it, and then you can just run off into the jungle and never see it again. So, um... 
in about 15 minutes after this video will be uploaded, I'm going to start streaming. Uh, this will be for July 20th, 2018 at about 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Atlantic, and I'll probably do that for about an hour and a half to two hours. We're going to be playing Heroes of the Storm, which is a game that I have a lot of fun with, and I'm going to have some friends playing with me, and we're going to probably be testing out some of the newer reworked heroes and play against people, play against AI, play whatever. But anyway, this Therizinosaur is just chunks through everything that you could possibly want to fight. I've never seen a raptor pack quite this size, but three hits and they're all gone. Granted, they're not exceptional levels, but still, I mean, it just goes shreds right through them without a single point invested into to melee damage whatsoever. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope to see you in the next episode of whatever we make or on the stream later today. Um, yeah, I, I gotta give a lot of credit where credit's due. This Therizinosaurus is just an absolutely underrated dinosaur and they gotta be considered a favorite for just about everybody. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Whatever We Make. Peace.